You better strap in because I have no idea where I'm going with this and it's going to be a wild ride. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you're watching this, it's Coffee Thoughts. And um, if you haven't been to this channel before, I'm Bethy B, and these are the thoughts that I have while drinking coffee. Um, now, used to, I would wake up and go drink coffee, um, but here lately, since, you know, I can't get my crap together, I work all night, and then I drink coffee, and I sit here and I babble on, and you listen, because you love me. So, like, I'm about to turn into Marie Kondo. Um, I'm about to turn into some Marie Kondo stuff in this house. There is so many things that I am looking at currently in this kitchen that are, that do not spark joy. They just don't. Like, honestly, the only thing that is in this kitchen right now are my puppy dogs and my coffee and those spark joy. That's it. Um, and, and I can't get rid of the whole dang kitchen, can I? No, Marie. The kids have been home since, like, mid-March. And, um... I think. Yeah. Mid-March. I don't even know anymore. And so like, like we're working on three and a half months, maybe four months, like going on the fourth month of, of this crap, um, of where my kids are home. And it's not that I don't want my kids home. It's the fact that we're already through our summer. Do you know how you feel at the beginning of the summer and you're like, yeah, yeah, we're at summer break can sleep in and do the things and we can do this and we can do that. We can't go do anything. I mean, like work around this house and then nothing, nothing I do in this house matters because it will hair over and freaking um, become a, a tornado mess within minutes, within minutes and nobody will be around. Legit. I can't even blame it on the kids anymore. Like I can't like I'm still cleaning my bedroom because I devote about 4.5 seconds of that a day um, to my daily activities. I don't know how you do it. Like, how do you do it? Like, when you work full-time and your husband works full-time or your significant other full-time and you have children, how do you keep your house clean? Like, I can't physically do it. I seriously mapped out a plan for the kids, like, yesterday um or monday monday we, we mapped out a plan and um where they had three daily jobs and two weekly jobs to do okay so like <laughs> i have a problem with like i don't personally have a problem with it because i don't care um everyone in this house will sleep forever if you let them hands down we're a night shift family obviously. Um, and we, and we act as such. Um, but like, you know, it is nothing for Allie to sleep till three. And I know it's probably cause she never went to bed, but she tells me she does, but I know she doesn't. At least I get paid for staying up all night. I'm just saying maybe she should get a job. I don't know. But anyway, um, I have no problem with people sleeping in this house. I like to sleep personally, love to sleep. Sleeping is my friend. Okay. But like, um, I don't get to see this friend very often, but you know, it's, it's a thing. So like, um, I, I told, you know, everybody to gather around, we were going to pick jobs and, um, we'll re reevaluate in a month, um, to see if, uh, if these jobs that, you know, are, are being productive. See list job list on the fridge apparently that mom now. So anyway, I told them, I said, go upstairs, tell Allie to get out of bed. Um, we're, we are assigning jobs and she doesn't want to miss this. So, um, I waited I drank some coffee and I waited. And then, um, I actually gave her like 20, 25 minutes to come downstairs. Um, I thought that that was, um, like way above and beyond. Like my dad wouldn't have even let me sleep past eight um, without yelling rise and shine and pulling me out of my bed with like, like he would take my covers and then he would just pull me and like tickle my toes and, and like, where's the droid? Oh God, I hated that. I hated it. I think that's why I let everybody sleep. So, um, but anyway, like, so I told her to get up. Moral of the story here. I told her to get up. Okay. And I, for the first time in my life, usually when I assign jobs around this house, it's a, it's a damn list. Like, it is a damn list. A damn list. Okay? Like, oh. Um, but this time, 
And then like they go strong for like a week and then like we forget about it. So this time I was like, we need to come up with our own list of responsibilities, things that we want to take responsibility for. And then um, we'll reevaluate in a month and see if that was productive. Maybe we could do other things. You know, maybe somebody else can pick that thing, um, you know, or, um, you know, if, but the, the main thing is, is if the daily jobs are not done every day, then phone privileges and electronic privileges are taken away. But you can earn those back if you do today's like daily double. Okay, so yesterday I come home, okay, and I'm like looking around and I realized that Allie had not done any of her daily chores, like zero. So I go upstairs, I take her phone and um, she's like, what? And she's, you know, she's still sleeping. She's like, what? You know, she's sleeping with her hand, you know. And um, I told her, I said, you have to give me your phone. I was like, because you didn't, you didn't follow the rules. You didn't do your daily chores. And she's like, oh, well, we're doing that? Okay. So um, yesterday's daily double was to do her daily chores and then we'd eat my flower bed. Personally, I hope she forgets to do her daily chores like every day because like I'm gonna get some stuff done. Like I can feel it. I can feel it. The bones to the core. But anyway, Allie, okay, moral story. Allie never came downstairs. So here Emily and Will are picking their own jobs and I mean, I told him I didn't care if it was a lame or hard or whatever. It was just something that they were declaring that day that they are going to do three things every day and two things once a week. Now, the two things once a week need to be something that, you know, you wouldn't want to do every day, but needs to be done at least once a week. Okay. Um, and those were the rules that were given. And so these are, are the chores that Will and Emily picked. So Will's is to take out the trash every day, okay? He will clean the cat litter and he will be half responsible for feeding the dogs and taking them out. I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. His weekly jobs are to clean the back door windows. So our back door has nothing but windows and um, he's to, to clean those. And he does a really good job at that. And he's going to keep his bedroom floor clean once a week. Okay. Emily is going to also take half responsibility in feeding the dogs and taking them out. She is going to make sure she feeds her, um, dragon Dottie, and she's going to keep her floor picked up on the daily. Um, her weeklies are sweep the kitchen and keep the kitchen table clean. I'm here to tell you, those are the lamest ass chores I have ever seen in my life. But I had to honor it because I told them I would, okay? So basically what I'm getting out of it is clean bedroom floors, animals are getting fed, and my table doesn't look like a disaster at least once a week. Because it's the catch-all, it's the catch-all. Currently right now, disaster. Like I'm looking at it, there is a pile of shit why it's mostly mine I need to put it away but that that's not the point these are the lamest chores I have ever seen in my life my dad would have never given me these chores like I had chores like to move rock you know that grew out of the ground but anyway so while this is going on Allie never comes downstairs okay so I decide we're gonna have to give Allie some chores okay so her chores are to feed the cats in the evening, do the dishes, and pick up the bed, her bedroom floor every day, okay? The dishes is the key here, okay? Them dishes need done. I have a freaking dishwasher right there, and there is absolutely no reason why I should ever come home from working 12 hours or more as a nurse to dishes. Like, I should never, never come home to dishes. They should just be in the dishwasher. So anyway, um, and then her weekly um, things are to clean the downstairs toilets and sweep the stairway once a week. Okay, um, back up to Emily and Will. They're half taking half responsibility on feeding the dogs and taking them out. Basically, those two are my early risers, but you can't gauge which one's going to get up first, you know? So whoever gets up first feeds the dogs and takes them out. And whoever didn't, they get the evening shift um, 
food and taking out. And then we all take out the dogs all day long because Freddy literally poops all day. The dog will poop every single time you take him out. I have never seen anything like it. So, which is great because he's not pooping in the house. But like, I'm just saying, that dog. Anyway, um, and then Allie only has to feed the cats in the evening because Lord knows she, them, them cats will die if they're waiting on her to feed them in the morning. Lord have mercy. So, like, I, me or Paul will feed the cats in the morning. Because poor Pete, he's a big chunk and he needs to eat. He has to have his calories in the morning. So, anyway, I, this is going to go on for a month, okay? And then we will reevaluate. Allie comes down and sees this list and just stares at it. And gives me like the whole like whatever I don't care thing, and um and, and did not do it on the first day, and lost her electronics until she weeded the front flower bed. So like I'm looking and the dishes are done. She had done the dishes. Um, so I'm gonna go look and see if the cat's bowl looks like it had food in it. Um, I'm pretty sure she did that. And then I'm going to look at her bedroom floor. Hopefully she cleaned that. But if not, what is the daily double? What is the next daily double, guys? Like, I'm getting kind of excited. I get really excited because it's, it's, it's going to happen. What else do I need done? Like, honestly, I get so excited. Gosh, don't tell her. But, like, she's going to screw up. Somebody's going to screw up. Who's, who's, who's going to get it? Who's going to do the daily double? What is the daily double? What should I have them clean? Like, I was thinking... I was thinking um, that the front porch needs cleaned off, but then I was also thinking that the walls in the stairway need scrubbed. I don't know. Everybody's got some electronics to lose, so, you know, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> okay, but my house will still not be clean. Still will not be clean. I guarantee it. I, I have a plan in my heart right here not really in my heart I have a plan that was my boob I don't know whoa that was too much for my camera I, I, the, patting my boob here I have a heart or I have a heart oh my god I have a plan in this boob that I am going to clean this house on my days off I can't look you in the eye because you know it's a bold-faced lie I can't can't look at you because I can't lie to you like that. But I have a plan to clean this house um, on my days off. And sell the makeup and sell the skincare and do the lives and make the videos and make videos for YouTube, um, which are coming out eventually. I can't look you in the eye again because I'm a liar. So, all right. Um. I don't know. Let me know what the double down is in the comments. Let me know. Give me some good ones. Um, but um, I am going to get off here. I'm going to finish drinking this coffee. It's almost done. And I'm going to go clean something. I don't know what, but something is getting cleaned here in a minute. I hope you like this video. I hope that you have subscribed. If you haven't already, right now would be a great time to do it because I'm crazy. I'm Beth. I'm your friend. Let's have coffee once a week. All right. So I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Every single day.